Today on Pitchfork TV, September is football rivalry month at Tustin High. I visit with Mr. Pay and Alejandro Solares to learn more about the first assembly of the year. Pitchfork sideline reporter Linda McNeil speaks with Tustin alumni Anthony Wilkerson. And Pitchfork reporter Caitlin Merrill sits down with quarterback Alema Pilamai to talk football. The Welcome Back Assembly is a great way for us to celebrate returning upperclassmen and to welcome freshmen to their first year. Since it's Rivalry Month, ASB makes every effort to display our pride. I interview Mr. Pay and ASB member Alejandro Solares to find out more about this rivalry and our assembly. Uh, this is probably one of the busiest times for us because um, this rivalry has been going on for quite a while. Um, getting ready for the first assembly with new people helping us do it. We were here last night until 10 o'clock working on the plaza, getting the plaza covered and trying to get as much set up as we can in here. And then we had to come back early this morning and keep working, getting tech set up. And there's just a lot of little things you have to get done for, for the assembly. For this game, we are preparing by like preparing for the assembly, getting everybody pumped by postering the school, like the plaza, that's like very school spirited. You know, getting everybody to go to the game, announcing the game and, you know, just getting pumped. Everybody wants to win that game, but uh, talent comes and goes. This is probably the one game you're, you're never really sure because because the drive for this game, you don't know who has the most drive, who's worked the hardest, who's ready for the game. Anything can happen in this game. As we all know, the Tustin Foothill rivalry is one that has been ongoing for years now. Even alumni know the hype and tradition of this tense competition between us. Nobody knows it better than Tustin graduate and former Stanford running back, Anthony Wilkerson. Hi, I'm here with Anthony. Anthony, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Of course, feel free to ask any questions you want. Okay, Anthony, what year did you go to school at Tustin? I went to Tustin from 2000, oh wow, it's a while ago now, 2008 and graduated in 2010. So I heard you played football here. How was that? Yeah, it was really good. I had a good time. I met a lot of my great friends here and we're all still here um, trying to celebrate this nice uh, Tustin Foothill rivalry. So I hear you rap. So tell me, how is that? I do rap. Um, I'm a firm believer in you do what makes you happy and love what you do. And I think a lot of my life I've been kind of avoiding what I love to do. And so to any person that I think the best advice that anyone could ever give someone is do what you do or do what makes you happy. And some people say at the end of the day, do what makes you happy. I think at the beginning of the day, you should do what makes you happy. And so right now I'm very happy with life, doing my rapping thing, and especially giving back to the Tustin community. So that's what, I, that's what I'm loving right now. Okay, Anthony, thank you so much. Well, unfortunately, we can't win them all. But our Tillers gave it everything they had last Friday night. Pitchfork reporter Caitlin Merrill sits down with quarterback Alema Pilamai to recap the game and talk Tustin football. Take us through that last drive. The blocked punt, the pass interference call. What went wrong? It came down to execution. Uh, I think there was a lot of mistakes that we made as players and that we made as coaches um, that we need to polish up in, to, in order to be ready for uh, this upcoming game. What changes will we expect to see in the game against Beckman? Definitely some more vitality, more liveliness from the players. Um, some more polished play calling from the coaches and I'm definitely going to be much more uh, excited and uh, and more enthusiastic about the game. This makes sense because you came from Beckman your sophomore year you transferred here. What does this game mean to you personally? It means a lot um, considering the fact that at Beckman I didn't really feel like I was part of the team um, and you know, I transferred here, and you know, immediately the team welcomed me with open arms. So I owe that to the Tustin football program to, to win that game. Considering last year we weren't so fortunate to win the game against Beckman, what is the team's mentality going into this game? Well, I think they understand that this game means a lot to me, and they've used that as kind of the fuel to um, to make them want to win the game. Who are going to be some of the players to watch this year? Uh, we have a bunch. Uh, we have Tyler Noble, who just overall is a great athlete um, and a great football player. Uh, we have Jonathan DeMile, a solid receiver. 
Um, we have Dion, who is also another solid receiver, has great hands. Um, our middle linebacker, RJ Villamar, a uh, great defensive player, uh, fills gaps really well. And uh, we also have some young kids um, like uh, Derek Soto, who is a really fast, really great running back. Um, that's, that's about it. He's injured at the moment, correct? He is, yeah. When he is, is he expected to come back? Um, I think he starts practicing with us next week. Who are going to be some of the tougher teams the team's going to play this year? Uh, well, Paloma Valley, uh, they're next on our schedule. Um, we play them next week. Uh, we play them away. Um, they're just an overall discipline team. They execute very well. Um, I think that our team is going to have to, we're just going to, straight up, we're going to have to play better football than them. What are some of the areas that you guys are going to have to improve in if you want to win that league title? <laughs> um, I think our attitude going into league is that it's not just going to be handed to us. You know, we're going to have to have we're going to have a lot of tough practices in which we're going to have to get better. Um, we're going to have to execute what, whatever game plan that the coaches come up with. So I think it's just down to the players. It's, I mean, the coaches can't win any games for us. For more information and news, check out the Pitchfork online. That's it for our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Pitchfork TV.